ZBrush 2019 is here and with a host of new features to check out. I'm Folygon, and in this video we'll be taking a look at the new and updated ZRemesher 3.0 added in ZBrush 2019. It's faster, more accurate, has new features like edge detection. It's incredible how good the topology can get out of this automatic tool is. No, it's still not going to be animation quality topology. That's going to require a human touch for at least a little bit longer. But damn, ZRemesher 3.0 is a very welcome improvement. Now let's get in and take a look at some of these new features. I'd like to show you guys a few different examples of how ZRemesher 3.0 works with different types of geometry. Open up your geometry palette and ZRemesher. We will begin with this cube over here on the left, which has a poly count of about 400,000 polys. Let's go ahead and use the new ZRemesher with no added features and a target poly count of 1K. And with that result, we get exactly what we expect from the old version of ZRemesher, although this is a little bit more clean around the edges and corners. Let's go ahead and undo that, and this time use a new feature called Detect Edges. And I'll just click on ZRemesher with the exact same settings that we had before. This time we can see that the geometry is much more clean, and not only that, but we're getting some creases around the edges here. We have some really nice edge loops and just some really nice topology in general. Now let's go ahead and undo that really quick all the way back to where we were before. And really quick, I'm going to run a Dynamesh on this geometry. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing again with ZRemesher Detect Edges. And essentially what this tells us is that ZRemesher 3.0 needs a very clean edge for that Detect Edges feature to work. And honestly, that's kind of to be expected because this feature is more meant for importing stuff like CAD data and getting a quick remesh on it. Next up, let's look at our cylinder over here. And this time, instead of using the Detect Edges feature, I'm going to use Keep Creases. And I'm going to set the target poly count down as low as it'll go at 0.1. And let's take a look at the geometry that we have here. We can go ahead and smooth that with the D key and unsmooth it with Shift D. So what we can see is that the geometry has actually maintained the creases by checking that Keep Crease button. But as we look at the topology here, yes, we do have some really nice clean edge loops but some of the vertical edges aren't quite as straight as we may like. And this is where ZRemesher has always had a lot of problems. And honestly, this is to be expected from an automatic tool. But this is much more clean than what we would have got using the Legacy 2018 version. And as an example, I'll show you what that looks like right now. In the Legacy version of ZRemesher, you can see that we're no longer getting the nice, clean caps that we had before. We're no longer getting the creases that we had and the geometry here in the middle portion is about the same quality. For our last example, I'm going to do a quick ZRemesh on this sphere using the default settings and a target poly count of 0.5. I'll also have X symmetry on while I do this. And I'm doing this as a quick example of what we can expect from more organic shapes. So the geometry is actually pretty clean here. We're getting a lot of really nice clean edge loops around the middle section, but towards the tips of the sphere, you can see that obviously we're getting some problem areas. And I would say that this is about the same quality that we could expect from the legacy version of ZRemesher. For our last demonstration, I'll be remeshing this character's head. I'll be using keep groups and a target poly count of 2.5, as well as X symmetry. And I have some poly groups created in some of the important areas of the face in an attempt to get some better topology. Let's go ahead and click on ZRemesher and see what we get. So this is actually something that I did a lot in the old version of ZRemesher, and I would say that this is probably about the same quality that I would expect from the old version in terms of organics and using keep groups. There are some areas that are probably a little bit better. Uh, I would expect some more stretching around some of these areas where we get really dense in a few different poly groups, so I'm pretty happy with the result that we're getting here. And like I said, we're not getting animation-ready topology out of something like this, but for an automatic tool and for something really quick that we can do with the click of a button, we're getting some pretty good results here. I should also mention very quickly that the new version of ZRemesher is a lot better at getting closer to your target poly count. Of course, if you have something like Symmetry on though, that will double the poly count. And then of course, you can still hold the Alt key for the alternative ZRemesher algorithm. Just hold the Alt key and click that. And then you can also do that with the legacy method. If you found this video helpful, check out gumroad.com slash Folygon, where I have even more tutorials, courses, brushes, materials, all the stuff that I use professionally for my work. Check it out, there's a link down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.